Hello friends, welcome to Blockbytes. Self-custodial and decentralized crypto wallet, Atomic Wallet, just reported that millions of dollars of users' cryptocurrency have gone missing. On Saturday, the project acknowledged the intrusion and stated it was doing all possible to investigate the apparent vulnerability. A user first reported the issue on Reddit. He said, Today I lost more than 50,000 US dollars in USDT, Bitcoin, Ether, TRX, SRP from my Atomic Wallet. All I did was log into my Atomic Wallet and my money was gone within a minute. Soon a slew of Twitter accounts reported that the contents of their wallets had been drained, causing great concern on crypto Twitter. Decrypt reported over $35 million lost in the attack in a matter of few days only. Surprisingly, Atomic Wallet only has two tweets on this matter at the time of making this video. The first was a unapologetic corporate message stating they acknowledged the receipt of several reports and will investigate the matter. And the following message after two days. They said the attack affected less than 1% of their active users and that the last attack was over 40 hours back. Sure enough, the users were not happy, especially regarding the lack of effective communication from their side. Popular DeFi researcher Ignis raised a crucial question with his response to this tweet from Atomic Wallet. He said, I am trying out several software wallets but for peace of mind, multi-sig wins for long-term storage. But it's the most use, use it's not the most user-friendly way. Interestingly, a report published by security firm Least surfaced on the internet that had raised several red flags as part of the audit they did on Atomic Wallet. The report says. The wallet currently continues to be a security risk for users. The only piece of respite in all this was of a few independent researchers coming together to help save $1 million for one victim. As if the hack was not enough, scammers also appeared on Twitter, trying to take advantage of the situation by sharing phishing links claiming to help users recover their lost funds. Crypto wallets have always been a target for hackers. Something similar also happened with the popular Phantom Wallet in 2022, in which over $4 million was drained from 9,000 wallets. But after investigations, they could not even find the actual cause of the hack. The only common thread was that the users had imported their seed phrase to and from a non-phantom wallet. Another major wallet drain attack, whose cause is also yet to be determined, was reported in April this year. Metamask developer Taylor Monahan highlighted the issue and stated that at least 5,000 Ether had been stolen from his wallet. He emphasized that no one knows how the hack works. Apparently, even the veterans are not safe in the crypto wild west. Apart from such incidents where the actual cause is unknown, phishing remains the most significant attack vector for hackers. Cybersecurity and antivirus provider Kaspersky det detected over 5 million crypto phishing attacks last year up 40% from the previous year. According to their report, although most crypto scams use old strategies like giveaway scams or phony wallet phishing pages, a recent active fraudulent scheme found by them demonstrates that the thieves are continually devising new methods to ensure their success. In this campaign, the customer receives a PDF in English through email indicating that they purportedly joined a cryptocurrency cloud mining site a long time ago and need to withdraw a large amount of coins immediately 
because their account is dormant. The file includes a link to a bogus mining platform. To withdraw the crypto, the user must fill out a form with personal information, including the card or account number. All right, so what can we do? Besides following the basics of not sharing your private key with anybody, there are other things that one could try. First, if your wallet provider is under attack, create a new wallet with a different vendor and move your assets there. You could also move it to a centralized exchange, but this may only work sometimes as the other user, as this other user pointed out. So he had no choice but to log into his account, a risk getting drained and transfer the assets to a different wallet. So what next? You could try hardware wallets like Trezor and Ledger and transfer your savings there. A cold wallet is undoubtedly better than a hot wallet. But even these wallets are not without problems, as we saw with the whole Ledger update fiasco, which added a new mechanism to send private keys over the internet. However, since this new feature is optional, hardware wallets are still the best option available out there. You can take this one step ahead by creating a multi-sig wallet. A multi-sig wallet is a special type of wallet secured by three or more separate wallets and require more than two users to sign off on any transactions. After creating a multi-sig wallet, you can move your assets from your hardware wallet or any other wallet into it. I recommend watching Crypto Casey's video on creating a multi-sig wallet using SAFE. And I've added the link in the description. As noted by Ignis, creating a multi-sig is not for everyone, but this is your best option for securing your funds. I know I have not come around to doing this myself, but do watch her video and give it a shot if you feel like. I hope you like this video. Do like and share. And I will see you next time with another fresh bite. Bye.